Now, John, we want to talk about Minnesota, but that's going to wait a second because first we want to talk a little bit about the Jacksonville Jaguars game, just a hair. Um, Adam Humphreys had a great game. What makes him so good at what he does? Well, I think it's it's his approach to, to prepare every single week. He's got the same mindset you know, that he had as a walk-on at Clemson, as a rookie tryout player in Tampa, studying his playbook, trying to get the timing down at practice with the quarterback so that when he goes out there, you know, on game days, he can be a dependable target for, you know, for the quarterback and the offense. John, new rule in the NFL this year. On the weekends, you can call up two players from the practice squad to the active roster. Obviously, that worked well in the Jacksonville win with both Cameron Batson and Jeremy McNichols contributing to the offense. This call-up thing from the practice squad working out pretty well for the Titans so far. Yeah, you know, we tell all of these practice squad guys, you know, you, you've got to be uh, prepared uh, to, to get that call up on game day, and especially this year with the rules that we're playing under. But both of those guys have worked extremely hard. Jeremy made us, uh, made a couple of plays for us the week before in the Denver game uh, and then stepped up again, you know, in the Jacksonville game and made some plays for us. And, and then Batson, you know, key, a key run on that speed sweep and a really good catch late in the game on that deep end cut uh, to keep that drive going. Now let's turn to the Minnesota Vikings. What is it about quarterback Kirk Cousins that makes him so dangerous? Well, he's played a lot of football. He's a good athlete. He's got a, he's got a good arm. You know, he, he, he's, he's a smart football player. You know, I think his career completion percentage is around 67%. His career QBR is over 90. He's got a two to one touchdown ratio. So he does a lot of good things uh, offensively. And he's, he's a veteran. He's seen a lot of coverages. He's seen a lot of blitzes. He gets the offense in good positions uh, to move the football. Minnesota has an outstanding running back in Dalvin Cook. When you look at Cook as a weapon, do you really have to start with his versatility? Yeah, I think so. You know, he's he certainly you know, much is made about how, you know, how talented a runner he is in their rushing attack. But, you know, they, they use him as a pretty cool chess piece. They move him around. They'll split him out. Uh, they'll throw him the ball. You know, he, he, everybody wants to make mention of the over 1,000 yards he rushed for last year, but he also caught over 50 passes. So they put him in positions to be successful, uh, to make plays for them, both in the running game and in the passing game. Now, John, the Vikings made the divisional round of the NFC playoffs in 2019. They may be 0-2 right now, but the Titans are counting on seeing a playoff caliber team this Sunday in Minneapolis, right? Yeah, this is a talented football team. You know, we just we spoke about all the players that they have. Coach Zimmer's a heck of a football coach. Rick Spielman's done a good job of assembling all these guys. It's a road game for us. You know, I know they're going to be fired up to, to play in their stadium um, and get back on track. You know, they, they, they may have got off to a slow start here, but there's a lot of firepower on both sides of the football up there in Minnesota, and we'll have to bring our A game on Sunday.